Hey everyone, it's Helena here and welcome back to my YouTube channel. And in today's video, I'm going to give you the ultimate prompt to write an acceptance criteria. An acceptance criteria is what details out what's included in a specific project feature or an user story. So for example, it's not enough to just tell your stakeholders that there's going to be a login feature to the application that you're building. But in the acceptance criteria, this is where you detail out what's actually going to be in that login feature. So an example of this could be, you know, the login page will have a field where the user can enter in their email or their username. They, they will be able to enter in their password and there will be a forget password button. And then lastly, another acceptance criteria here could be it has the uh, register now as the sign in button where the user can actually log in. So you want to specify exactly how that feature looks to the uh, end user before you start working on the project to ensure that there's no misunderstanding. Now that we know what an acceptance criteria is, let's take a look at how we can use tools like ChatGPT uh, to write these acceptance criteria for you on your project. So here is the prompt that I have for acceptance criteria. Firstly, um, I get, get into a little definition of what the acceptance criteria is. Then I tell ChatGPT, while crafting your acceptance criteria, make sure you keep these in mind, right? I want you to keep in mind about the functional requirements. The functional requirements is what the deliverables must do. And uh, then it gets into the performance requirements. So this is how well the deliverables must perform under certain conditions, the design requirements, any specific design elements that the deliverables must meet, the usability requirements, this is any standard related to the user experience or ease, and finally, any compliance requirements. Now, I also tell ChatGPT that it should write these effective uh, acceptance criteria in a testable, clear, concise, and agreed upon by all stakeholders. And then for this task, write the acceptance criteria for the following product feature or, or user story. And this is where you put in the specific product feature or user story that you want acceptance criteria for. Now with, the prompt, with this prompt, all you need to do is copy and paste this in and then go over to ChatGPT, which I have done so already here. And here you can see I've copied and pasted in the prompt. I have told ChatGPT that as a user, I want to be able to log in the app. And as you can see here, now ChatGPT has written the acceptance criteria for user login feature for me, divided by the four different types of requirements I have. So. Um, by using ChatGPT to start writing the acceptance criteria, one, uh, ChatGPT has learned all of the information uh, that's publicly available on the web. So it has a wealth of knowledge that it can draw from, from you know, all of the different projects that it has learned from that has been publicly posted. So it's learned from the best practices. Essentially, you're just querying something that already knows uh, everything that exists on the web. So you're getting a different perspective and two, you can do it much faster when you have the right prompt, when you detail out exactly what you want in um, inside, of, inside of the prompt. All right, thank you so much for joining me for today's tutorial. I hope you got value out of this and please make sure you like and subscribe below. It really helped me out with this channel and I'll see you in the next video in the project management prompt series.